As many of you know, in the past few years, Queen's has faced an unprecedented amount of mental health related deaths. As a committed student body, it is our responsibility to speak out in order to prevent future tragedies. In the past week, Queen's did just this with the Queen's Wears Green campaign, organized by the Commerce Society. To figure out more of the goals and initiatives of this campaign, the Private Eye investigates. In partnership with the Canadian Mental Health Association and the Jack Project, the Queen's Wears Green campaign is an initiative to spark discussion among students on campus about mental health awareness. From October 17th to November 4th, volunteers sold t-shirts to raise funds for mental health awareness. We talked to Rachel Williams, a fourth-year commerce student who helped organize Queen's Wears Green. And the Queen's Wears Green campaign actually started off from something that we started last year, um, which was called Queen's Wears Pink, and that was for breast cancer awareness. And so we really wanted to grow the campaign and really, um, you know, just be able to affect as much of the student body and have as much involvement as possible. So we decided to actually change the event to Queen's Wears Blank, and every year um, a new cause would be picked. And so kind of what brought us to Queen's Wears Green, which is for mental health awareness, is really just kind of what's been happening on campus in the past couple of years. And we thought that it was really important for students to address the issue. Um, and so that is kind of what started the campaign. And it, I, as you know, it was three weeks, and uh, we saw sold over 1,600 shirts and we're hoping to continue to grow that into the future, so that was campaign. Our biggest thing that we wanted students to get out of the campaign was really just to start the conversation about mental health and for it to be okay to say that I'm going to a counseling appointment because, you know, it's totally fine when you tell your friends that you're going to a doctor's appointment, but if you say, oh, I'm going to see my counselor, there's kind of a stigma around it. So really that's what we wanted to show students is that it's okay and that everyone knows about it and everyone supports it on campus. As a part of the week-long campaign, on November 4th, there was a rally that took place in the Queen's Centre. The rally hosted students, faculty, and invited speakers, including Eric Windler, who lost his son Jack to suicide in March of 2010. To honor his memory, Eric established the Jack Windler Memorial Fund in partnership with the Kids Help Phone. Due to great success, this eventually led to the Jack Project, which develops mental health awareness, education, and support. Well, you go through about uh, initially sort of a 30-day sort of shock and awe of, of how upsetting it is to your family. Um, and as I started to emerge from that initial shock, uh, I had to find out well, how this was possible. It just seemed like this was completely impossible for a very fortunate family who had three happy, healthy kids, so we thought, and a good marriage and all those things. So that sort of started a, a long journey for me, an intense journey, obviously, uh, to find out about mental health. So uh, not being a mental health expert and not being really aware, I was just like every Canadian, unaware of the uh, the real statistics around mental health and in particular how it affects young people, the early onset, uh, the nature uh, of how serious it can be, how it's much more serious than any other health related risk. So those are all the sorts of things I found out and then uh, you know starting to do something about it. So the Jack Project uh, uh, wasn't initially called the Jack Project, it was actually called the Jack Windler Memorial Fund uh, and it was initially set up within the charitable construct of Kids Help Phone. So uh, the Jack Project uh, now is really doing two things. Um, we took a, a big chunk of what we've raised and we contributed that towards Kids Help Phone's new technology for a new way for the young people to reach the counselors. So uh, actually starting this month, counselors will be reach, reachable by young people uh, through their laptops or eventually through their mobile device and you can actually live chat with the counselors, which, uh, as you may appreciate, is a high demand way that young people want to reach out and connect with a counselor, and a lot easier, and we hope a lot easier, especially for males who don't reach out for help, to, than picking up the phone, uh, but to, to connect the way youth talk today, which is like this or like this. So that's number one, a big technology investment with Kids Help Phone. Uh, which will uh, grow and be a, a big investment by Kids Help Phone over a multi-year period. We must all put our focus towards lowering the negative stigma associated with mental health. This issue must become normalized so that people are not isolated with their feelings. Eric provides insight into this 
and how initiatives like the Queens Wears Green campaign can help in this fight. Where I spend most of my time, and that's why I'm at Queens today, is on what we call the school outreach. So we've established the next two years to be a very clear plan. Uh, this year is what we call the pilot year. So we have uh, 12 post-secondary institutions, colleges and universities. We have 22 high schools, and we have two boys and girls clubs in what we call the Jack Project School Outreach. So we're going to schools and conducting presentations like this and workshops. Uh, we're, uh, there's a number of components to find out what's going on in the schools uh, in the area of mental health, and we're measuring everything to see what's working and what isn't working. So uh, we're doing our part, and it never occurred to us to do anything else but speak openly about it. Uh, but you see what's happening on, on campuses like Queen's, where students are spontaneously starting to talk about it, uh, in part in memory to the students that were lost, but also in part uh, in a hopeful way to look forward and say, how can we be leaders with each other, supporting ourselves and each other? And this is something I think that could spread like brush fire and help us spread the word of mental health awareness, uh, educate people, and gradually those are the things that start to break down the barriers of stigma. How do we continue this movement so that mental health awareness is not just a temporary goal? We talked to Warren Duncan, a fourth year commerce student who helped organize Queens Wears Green about this issue. What we heard from a lot of people is that mental health groups were all operating on their own and we felt that we really did a, did a good job at least introducing different people. We wouldn't have combated it in a week and we couldn't do it in three weeks and we're not going to do it in a year, but I think this was very important to get mental health groups on campus talking to each other as a collective body. The Queens Wears Green Facebook site will also be open and we'll be um, blogging, I guess, about different mental health awareness type events on campus. The CMHA Kingston, Canadian Mental Health Association Kingston, is also going to be offering counseling, free counseling, as a thank you for running this campaign. So there's a lot of, a lot of small things that are going to come off this, and we really just hope that the main thing is that we've brought the student body together, in a sense, and have started this conversation as a group. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death among adolescents and young adults. Therefore, it is essential that people become educated about mental health so that we can fight the negative stigma associated with it. The Queens Wears Green campaign has sparked a discussion that has the potential to expand. We must normalize mental health so that people are no longer suffering in isolation and instead feel comfortable to speak out. This has been Sarah Turnbull reporting for The Private Eye.